hi buddies welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're returning you already know i have this deep love for you thank you for always coming back to watch my video and if this is your first time mm -hmm, you're welcome you're about to join a very good gang here okay you're welcome my name is amara chuku mara for short i am a nigerian who is currently living and studying in canada and i make videos to help international students as well who want to come to canada to school you know to navigate through their processes i hope you go through my content and you find any of my content useful and you consider subscribing and joining the family i also make lifestyle content as well self-improvement tech social media and all that good stuff so without further ado let's get right into today's video so i came up with this list with the list i used when i was packing you can see how old this papers are like you guys you guys can see how old and torn they are so when i tell you that these are the like the things that helped me when i was packing so i got you so you don't have anything to worry about by the time you are done watching this video you'll be 100 percent sure the things you need to get with you when you're coming okay? in today's video i'm going to be telling you guys the essential things i think you have to come to canada with okay or even if you're moving to maybe uk but this is specifically for canada if you want to come to canada these are the things i think you should bring if you watched my traveling vlog like all my moving vlogs like when i was moving to canada you would see that your girl came ready i came prepared i even have a pack with me video that is up on this channel i'm going to link it in the description box just in case you want to have a practical and like real real time when i was packing when i was moving okay so you can also watch that video to give you some insights but hmm, let me tell you something this video you're about to watch is about to be the best packing video you've ever watched on this street of youtube you know i don't brag about it i tell you guys and you guys already know that i make the most detailed videos okay i'm one of the best here in this in this game I am one of the best just give me my flowers because by the time you're done watching this video yeah because this video is going to be a very comprehensive list okay that i use when i was coming my friends i've sent it to my friends most of my friends that have moved to canada to uk have also used this list so i'm like why not share this with my subscribers i've been making videos about moving to canada but this is one important aspect of moving to canada i'm like no i can't be skipping it so we are going to get right into the video now i would want to give you guys some tips some packing tips the things i think that you need to have or things i need to i think you need to do okay before i go ahead to start giving you guys the list of things you're going to come with so i have a list with me here if you see me looking down i'm trying to read through the notes so that we don't you know waste each other's time on this video so you already know if you're coming to canada as um an, an international student like one person is entitled to two 23 kg bags right and then one checking luggage so 223 kg bag if you're if you're coming alone that is what you're entitled to and your hand luggage i'm going to get to land hand luggage if you're coming with your family the same thing applies to each person you're coming with but i'm not very sure about kids but i think it is the same yeah i think it is the same for kids as well i'm not very sure but i think so if you're coming with a child they are also entitled to like two individual bags right so we are going to like i said and i'm going to tell you guys the things that i think you should do like to minimize the tips i will give you now so i think you need to have in mind before you even go ahead and start thinking of the things to put in the bag so number one thing i have here i think you should buy a weightless bag okay i'm going to put a picture in the frame right now the kind of bag that i use in as much as i wanted the aesthetics of good box moving to canada and stuff but i was still considering space if you buy a soft core bag i think that's what it's called i don't know if you buy that big like echo like what we call echo like in nigeria like that bag already weighs a lot like it weighs more than 5 kg so now you have 23 kg how many is going to be left for the things you're going to bring so think about it get a weightless bag instead you already saw the picture of the one i put here i got this from lagos island yes balogun that was where i got it for i got it for i think 3000 naira inside lagos island but i think outside lagos island is like some people can sell it for 5k each so i bought two of it and then now for my hand luggage for hand luggage you are entitled to, to one some airline it depends on airline now right some airline allow you to carry 7 kg 
worth of like hand luggage other people some other airline allow you to carry 10. i used ethiopia airline when i was coming which was seven okay but guys i came in here with my hand luggage my hand luggage was 15 kg i'm going to tell you guys what i did that is not like it's going to be at the end of this video so if you want to know how i managed to come with 15 kg hand luggage just keep watching till the end of the video so and again for your hand luggage i advise okay hand luggage is not so much of a big deal but then me i had something i want a lot of things i wanted to put in my hand luggage so i also got a hardcore box i'm going to show you guys the picture the image of the box that i used so guys this is the hand luggage that i used when i was coming okay this is the um what's that now this is called a hardcore bag okay it is hardcore because like it is a is like lightweight okay compared to the normal ecolac and if you also don't want to use the weightless bag you might consider using this one okay this one also is a hardcore box it doesn't weigh as much as your normal ecolac would so these are the tips that i think you should consider okay but if you still want to use the normal ecolac and maybe still pay for excess luggage fine but these are the things that i did because i knew that i was not going to pay for excess luggage just to like carry more things that i feel like maybe when i get here i won't even need so i wasn't going to pay for excess luggage so the next thing i have here is that when you are packing you should get a ziploc bag okay let me show you guys i have this ziploc i bought this ziploc when i was moving when i was packing so i bought it you have to buy it you're going to need it i'm going to tell you guys further how you're going to use this and then i also got this one do you know this thing that uh, ready to wear vendors used to like wrap the dress you also need it i'm going to tell you how you use it so what i did is that i use it to put the um whatever i want to put in it first then i now put it into the ziploc bag so the third thing i think you should do is to buy a travel luggage scale guys buy a travel luggage scale i got mine from a supermarket in lagos so i don't even remember the name of that supermarket but you can even get it i checked jumia i was going to order it from jumia before i saw it i went to the store that supermarket with my aunt if you watch that vlog and then i saw it then i picked it up okay so you can order it from jumia as at the time i bought it i came to canada which was like uh, six months ago i bought it for um seven thousand seven k seven thousand naira. so i think you need it you're going to have to use it to wait and then when you start packing your things if there are things you are considering to take but you're not very sure if you want to take them just keep putting them in the ziplock and set them aside okay by the time you start weighing your luggage with that weighing bag you put them and if they are weighing more you remove just like the things you are very sure oh i can do without okay so that is like part of the tips i think i want to give you guys before i go ahead and say the things that i think you need to bring with you to canada now that i've told you guys some of the things i think you need to do to maximize space when you are packing okay let's head straight to start talking about the things that you're actually supposed to come to canada with and the first is going to be your document so i'm going to be reading i'm going to have to read through my list so that you know I don't waste your time okay so the first thing you will need to come with is your international passport you know i've had a story where so they said someone forgot um his or her international passport i don't even understand i don't know if that story is true or not but it's very possible because the kind of pressure you know you can pass through during that time eh oh my god i was under so much pressure okay so you have to be sure take it and put in the bag that you're going to move with the bag is sure that you're going to carry that day so make sure you have your international passport with you that is number one okay then number two if you're coming as a student make sure you have your admission offer letter if you're coming as a pr person you already know um the letter or the document you're supposed to have okay so as a student have your admission offer letter then as a student too the third thing you should have is your enrollment letter when you pay your tuition the school is going to give you what they call enrollment letter that that is a letter that shows that oh you already enrolled to, for this program and you can only get it when you've paid your tuition deposit so make sure you have that document with you and what i'm saying is some of these these documents i'm mentioning have them had like hard copies of them of them and also have soft copies so the first thing you're going to bring is letter of introduction it is usually from the embassy okay when you your visa gets approved you're being sent a letter of introduction from cic okay so you're going to need that letter you're going to need that document with you because the immigration officer 
at the border is going to ask you for it so the fifth thing you're going to need is an accommodation plan accommodation plan is just you having a contact of a person you are going to stay with or and their address okay if you are going to be in an in an airbnb apartment make sure you have the address or maybe the contact person of the or the owner of the airbnb the people that run the airbnb okay because the immigration officer might ask you about your accommodation plan they don't want you to be stranded for me they didn't ask me but i have a friend that they asked her and some people that i watched their video earlier before i moved also said that they asked them so you might have to have that written somewhere so that you are not going to be stranded or when they ask you you're like oh, okay let me start looking for it have that handy then the system you're going to have is your covid19 test result now it's no longer like the pandemic is not that you know um it's kind of died down a bit right so most people might not really like go for the covid19 um test result and uh, testing anymore so if you for me when i came i was fully vaccinated and that is going to bring me to my seventh point if you don't have your covid19 um test results meaning that you are fully vaccinated go with your covid19 vaccination card does that make sense so is it that you have your covid19 result uh, test result or you have your covid19 vaccination card and once you take the two dose vaccination in nigeria you'll get that card it's just a green card that looks like a report card that we used to know when we were growing up so yeah you need to go um to the airport with that because from nigeria they're even going to ask you for that so now the eighth thing you need which is one of the most important is to fill out your arrive can so when you're coming to canada if you're already in the process of coming here you probably have heard about arrive can you should fill it maybe 72 hours before your trip or 48 hours before your trip just make sure you feel it before you get to the airport this thing frustrated me i thought i had few days but i, th I think i missed some step i missed some steps and messed some things up so you wiped i got to the airport good thing i went early i had to stay there to start feeling it so don't be like amara okay feel your own way before your trip all right because you, that is where you're going to fill out a lot of information and they're even going to ask you that from the nigerian airport it's not even when you get to the whole canada thing so now the ninth thing i think you need to have is your tuition receipts some schools when you pay your tuition fee or your tuition deposit they will send you a tuition receipt in your email either your student email or your you know normal yahoo or gmail or hotmail whatever email you've used to enroll right so make sure you have it just for me i thought they wouldn't ask me this right but funny enough the visa officer asked me yeah and she asked me for the my uh, my tuition receipt yeah and i i gave her and i said oh this is how much i have paid and she was like oh okay uh, how much are you um how are you going to be paying your tuition? she asked me just a couple of questions about tuition so you might also need to have that and when i say you need to have this document remember i'm talking about printed copies of them okay hard copies of them have them on your phone fine but please have hard copies of them because you're going to be presenting it at each you know different spots we ask you for different documents so you're going to be presenting them as you pass through the different check-ins and all of that during your whole trip to canada all right so the um, that's the ninth thing then now the tenth thing i think you should bring it's not part of the document that they will ask you but it's very important is your driver's license guys if you can drive do not forget your driver's license i'm not talking about the international driver's license if you have the international driver's license come with it but i'm talking about the normal nigerian driver's license okay come with it because getting a driver's license here is a lot okay guys so this is voice over amara here my phone memory won't stop messing me up so i missed some documents that i really wanted to tell you guys so the 11th documents you should come with after a driver's license, I think, should be your Nigerian bank cards, okay? Come with your Nigerian bank cards. You might need to make some purchase. Like, for me, I'm still using my cards in my, like, Apple store because it's cheaper to buy some of those apps in Naira than dollar. So, you would need them. And then your dollar cards, domiciliary account cards, please get them. I feel like you need them. Then the 12th thing would be your Nigerian SIM cards. I came here with my Nigerian SIM cards. So... What I did was, I didn't want to run my SIM card, so I just went to Airtel. I even vlogged it. If you watched my moving vlog, you must have seen that. I went to Airtel. I told them, oh, I'm going to be away for at least two years. Can I um have this SIM? Because I feel like if you don't use the SIM for a while, they might allocate it to someone else or I don't know, whatever. But then I went to them and they asked me to pay 3000 which they converted into an airtime, into the SIM card, and then... 
I still use the SIM card here. Even if I put the SIM card on my phone in Canada, I might still get o, um, OTPs because I did it. maybe I have issues with my bank. I want to do some transaction for OTP. So if you are like me, I might still have to maintain transaction with your Nigerian account. Please come with your Nigerian SIM card. Do not throw it away and say you are jack buying. Please do not try it. So let's get to the other section of this video, which are the other <laughs> other vital essentials i think you need the first would be your laptop guys you need a laptop when you come here everything you're going to be doing is going to be with your laptop even from like as i don't know like i don't know how to explain it come with a laptop don't say when you come here you buy you will need it once you resume school classes everything you'll be doing them with your laptop especially when you're coming for graduate program please come with your laptop then the second thing would be your power bank. You might need your power bank throughout the trip because it's going to be a long trip. You might not see where to charge your phone. I might not need to pull out some information from your phone. Please come along with your power bank. I came along with my Oremo power bank, which I still use here in Canada. It's not at the time that I'm close to the socket or I want to charge my phone if I'm going out. So if you watch some of my moving vlogs, in the particular vlog where I went to pick my driver's license, that I was telling you guys that I heard, oh, that I should come here with my driver's license, blah, 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 blah. That when I come here, I'm going to update you guys. This is the update, though. Come with your driver's license. Because if you don't have it, getting a driver's license here will take you longer. You pass, like, you just like, how do I explain it? Starting from the bottom, right? But if you already have a driver's license from Nigeria, it's just like maybe two steps will be waived for you. So it makes it easier. So that's just like the summary of the situation. Please come with your driver's license. And the thing is that as an international student in Canada, you can drive with your Nigerian driver's license. Yes. You don't even need to get the ASO. So although some jobs might ask you to get their class seven, you know, driver's license, but as an international student, you are entitled to drive with your approved um, Nigerian driver's license. So, the third thing you also need to come with is your travel adapter. This travel adapter, guys, you guys need it. Like, adapter, adapter, I don't know. This travel adapter is very, very important, okay? For me, um, it was not so much of a no-brainer in one area because I, my laptop was, like, my laptop pin is already the north american pin which is like two do i have anything close here to show you guys um okay the not this is how the north america like mouth pin charging whatever comes okay so my so my laptop charger already came like that because my laptop i got it from a friend who was in america as at that time and then my phone charger also has the same two mouth pin so i would have still been good without the adapter but i know that most nigerians use the normal like our you know block head right the one with the four mouth as it will enable you to charge your phone you know it will enable you to plug in because it has like three different the one for africa europe and north america like that's the charging ports is it the charging port or the plug-in right the block or whatever they call it so you really really need it although i need it because i came with my ring light we are going to get to that point okay so now i use it for my ring light i basically specifically bought it for my ring light all right so the next thing i think you would also need is a tripod if you're a content creator like me raise my tripod i'm going to show you if you're a content creator like me you need to come with a tripod okay you would need it even for your filming if you want to film your travel vlog you would need it so i got this from nigeria okay and this is really strong compared to some of the ones i've been seeing online so most of these things we get really good ones in nigeria so please if you're a content creator come with your phone tripod and also the next thing i would say you should come with if you're a content creator is your ring light i came with my ring light if you watch my moving vlog you already saw how i packed my ring light i just used a pair of jeans and then i just wrapped it around it used some nylon wrapped it around it and put it in between my clothes you know so just watch my moving vlog you get like the practical sense of how i packed it because i showed you guys i'm going to put that particular video in the description box below so check it out if you want to see how i wrapped that ring light but it's just basically just wrapping it with my jeans and some um what's that now some tapes and going over it over and over again and i just used some my clothes to layer up on it so that was what i did so come with your ring light because the kind of ring lights i see here like i've seen some of my friends that are content creators the ring light they got from amazon 
they are not like this one i got from nigeria so please if you have a ring light consider coming with it but if you don't want to come with it it is your choice i'm just telling you things i think you might need if you are a content creator and you want to come to canada and start additional content you should come with your ring light okay the next thing i think you should come with is a travel pillow let me get the one i bought from miniso and show you guys guys this trip is a very long trip sometimes it's up to 24 hours trip okay mine was because i got to toronto and still had to move to regina and stuff so see it's a very long trip and you need a travel pillow some people call it neck pad neck pillow i got mine from mini so if you already watch my travel vlog i will keep saying that you must have seen all these things so this is a travel pillow i got from mini so like this pillow was my best friend throughout that trip like this pillow was a body like uh, i don't know how that trip would have gone if i didn't have this pillow it's a very long trip and you're going to need it because you're going to sleep a lot okay so get a travel a travel pillow for yourself for your kids and you know everybody that you're traveling with then the next thing i have on my list is hair stretcher or hair straightener guys i bought mine from nigeria let me show you guys i have everything here so that when i'm telling you guys i'm showing you like you are seeing it okay so i got this hair straightener from nigeria i got it from balogo market i don't remember the amount and i'm like i'm so grateful that i got it because i'm going to tell you why you're going to be wearing a lot of wigs okay so you are going to need a hair straightener and you're going to need a hair dryer i came with a hair dryer as well you see i came with my hair dryer from nigeria so you're going to need a hair dryer if you have all this is in nigeria just consider packing them okay but if you don't have much space much later you can take them off because you can actually purchase them here but why i'm saying this is that if you already have them in nigeria there is no need okay just try and pack them in come with your hair curler if you have one i didn't ha have one in nigeria so i when i got here i ordered from amazon also hot comb this one i ordered from amazon you guys if you watch my vlogs you must have seen when i unbox this and it's doing the job okay but if you have it from nigeria do well to come with it because some of those um once we get from nigeria they're actually like way stronger than this this thing because you know when i use this um stretcher that i got from nigeria oh my god it works so well but the hot comb i wouldn't say it doesn't work it does the job too but i feel like the hotness is not the same oh what's that i feel like the hotness is not the same because i think our voltage in nigeria is better well this is not ele electricity talk so let's just forget about it so for my men come with your um what's that now clipper okay everything you know how that small part you guys use to package everything you use for cutting your hair come with that because you're gonna turn to a barber and if you can learn how to cut your hair man it's not so difficult for you guys so start practicing how to cut your hair if you're going to come to canada start practicing because here diy you go diy everything so learn how to cut your hair learn how to shave your beard some of my male friends here i see them do that a lot they cut their own hair because almost nobody got money if you go to the salon they might charge you as much as hundred dollars sixty dollars eighty dollars to cut hair that will grow back in two weeks so please come with your clipper and all those good stuff that you guys use to cut that shave around and look good okay so the next thing i have also is needle and thread i came here with needle and thread okay you're gonna need one because you might be stitching oh because you're gonna need to be stitching some clothes that would tear um, there is no bioma here or there's no door door here so you have to come with me i came with it and some of these things i'm mentioning they are quite little because so they don't consume all that much space so this is these are things you just get and you put them in one ziplock bag and you dump them into your travel luggage because they're gonna help you my sister my brother all right so the next thing i think you should get in this section would be medicated glasses if you're watching my videos you would know that i'm obsessed with glasses and i have a lot of them so when i was coming here i came with minimum i think six or seven um yeah i think so you guys already saw me in my moving vlog i always talk about it why not because i unboxed when i got those glasses i'm going to show you some of my glasses here now and uh where is the other one i have this one and these frames are so cute you guys the frames are so cute that when i go to school my white friends will ask me oh where did you get your frame from they are really nice you know so you guys if you wear medicated glasses if you can get two of them i know that some medicated glasses are so um expensive when like to prescribe them they can 
cost a lot of money but if you can get two fine because glasses get missing here one of my favorite actually got missing if you remember the glasses i wore when i made my video when i got my visa, uh, visa in 10 days video after that that day i shot that video was the last time i shot that glasses imagine that was the only glass i had i don't know what happened to that glasses to today so if you have um money get two or three or more uh, spare for your medicated glasses and then that will bring me to the last part of this video the last item on this video on this on this section which would be shades okay the sun here can be intense and even during winter you still see this annoying sun i must have shown you guys a couple of times in my vlogs it's just so annoying right so i always wear shades and shades are like the ones i've seen here look they look so funny except if you want to order from sheen and the rest of them but i got a lot of nice shades from nigeria okay and i came with them here and i've been wearing them anytime i wear them people always like oh, i like your shade where did they get it from nigeria so these are the small small things i think that you might need to come with that would help so let's get to the third uh, section of this video which is hair essentials okay because you're going to have to be making your hair okay most of the things that have to do with your hair you're going to be diying them diying them yeah <laughs> so and then again for my ladies try and braid your hair if you're coming if you're a fan of braid it's not a must most people do it i did it a lot of people do it so that way you kind of like braid and just as in face the life of like the stressful life of already coming to a new country and trying to figure out your life instead of oh you're now thinking where will i make my hair what style will i ch change so braiding your hair gives you that opportunity to at least breathe from the whole stress of hair for a couple of months at least one or two months before you can start doing that you guys already know i carried my hair for four months which i said is a very bad idea do not try it so i went for a style that i feel like will last me if you want to see that video it's also going to be linked to my description check it out where when i made my hair and stuff that hair lasted me for four months i came august and i loosened that hair december so come here with braids is gonna help you so now you're going to have to come with hair relaxer it's very important that is one thing i regret not coming with i bought them during my shopping but i eventually took them out when i said oh if, you are, if there are things you are, you might want to take out and you're having second like you're second guessing if you need them relaxer was one of them so it was weighing so much and i felt like okay i might see relaxer here someone told me i will see yeah i think in some of the african stores you you will see but they are expensive so if you can come you know that perfective or that olive that comes in 12 if you can come with a pack of it eh, my dear you would not regret it if you are if you relax your hair you would not regret it because before you will see and if you see they are so expensive see my hair i tie my hair back like my hair is a whole lot of mess right now because I can't relax my hair and i don't want to even do the natural thing so it's i'm trying to find someone to help me get relaxer when they are coming so get yourself the pack of perfective or um or whatever relaxer that you use because you're going to need it here then get hair ex extension oh my god my hair extension they are in a box so i can't even get them i came with different colors of hair extension the colors that i like i like to use something like goldish premium white or whatever and then black so i came with them so you might need to come because come with those they are very expensive here at least these things i'm saying it's not like they will last you throughout the period you're going to be in canada but the first couple of months you'll be settling here you don't have money to be spending on all those things you have those things that can help you at least you look good so come with your crochet and crochet pin you can always get someone to help you with your hair back and you can fix your crochet yourself i came with some although i haven't used them but yeah i came with that then you have to also come with hair cream i've seen hair creams here but i mean those are our hair cream that have like mint that treat dandruff oh god i regret not coming with it that was part of the thing that i took off i don't know why i just neglected my hair and took out most of my hair care product because i didn't have much space but if you have space add your hair product then you also need a bonnet you guys see me in my vlogs i'm trying to know if i can see my bonnet anywhere close here you guys see me in my vlogs i wear a lot of my bonnets so come with a lot of bonnets because what they sell here they are really crappy very small if you're like me and you like all those big you know stretchy um bonnets come with enough because those bonnets they don't even weigh much so i think i came with like four or something you know and then another thing i think you should come with is like hair pins and clips there are a lot of them in canada actually there are a lot of them here but you know it's also cheaper in nigeria because this thing like i got them from i got this one from Wuse market 
I got this one from Wuse Market for just 200 naira. Then the morning of my trip that I went to Minnesota to get stockings, if you watch my travel vlog, you saw that I also got this band, which I used to like pack my hair and stuff. You have a lot of them in Canada, but I find that these ones are even more durable. I don't know why we have more better stuff back home than here. So you might need to come with them because this one now can last me for like forever, like for a very, very long time. Okay. So I think you should come with hair pins and clips. So let me show you guys the hair pin. I think you should come with this video. I packed everything up so that you could not say I'm telling you to buy, but I didn't come with it. I came with all these things. I did not pay for extra luggage. I came with this hair pin because I'll be styling my hair myself and, you know, I might need it. So you might need to come with this hair pin and clips as the case may be. Then the Obonga in this hair section that I think you should come with are your wigs. I came with a couple, okay? So if you have money, buy more wigs before coming. If you don't have money, bring the ones that you have, okay? When you have money, you can always order or something, figure it out. But if you have wigs, come because... <laughs> to braid hair here is so expensive like it is very expensive i want to braid my hair for some i'm already trying to save up for it so come with your wigs like i know that you guys must have heard this a lot so no no stress then come with wig caps if you're coming with your wig okay come with wig caps you're going to need it then the next thing you should come with is your ponytail okay i think i can't get my hair extension there in the bus right now i can't deal with that i made a ponytail right because i know that i can easily like Put my hair in a bun and just put like the ponytail so i told my stylist i bought um extension and gave her she made a ponytail for me so if you can get a ponytail because sometimes you just run out of ideas of hairstyle to do ponytail is always going to help you in this country so come with all those attachable ponytail okay so come with your hair serum okay i um you know if you wear wig like all these human hair there are hair serums for them you will not find them in canada even when you try to order you will not find them i think i have one i'm going to show you guys okay this you see this hair um serum here guys like it is the truth i've been using it for my wigs like i love my wigs to look like fly sleeky and stuff so this really really helps me so get it get this particular one i've shown you it it's going to help your wig even when you are trying to it serves as heat resistant to when you're trying to straighten straighten your wigs and stuff like that so this is the hair care session now i don't think you need a hair brush if you're running out of space you can just take it out if you have your monotonous place get a hair brush but there are a lot of hair brushes yeah there are a lot of hair brush and everywhere in like um dollar stores you can just easily get one for like a dollar something two dollars so you might not really need that so let's get to the other essentials this one is titled um your wears okay i know this is where a lot of people make a lot of mistakes and i know you might have heard this a lot you know from so many people please don't come here with so many clothes you won't wear them okay thank god i knew this when i was in nigeria as I always say, if you watch my moving vlog, you saw when I gave out my house. I gave out everything. See, I didn't come here with nada. Like, I only made a bunch of Ankara wears, which I feel like I might miss. And I really wanted to have some. And then I came with just a few thick clothes. So just come with thick clothes. This one I'm wearing, I came. This was even what I wore the day I came to Canada. Like, come with a few thick clothes. Like, because um, you don't need all those clothes, all those things that people will come and pack here. No, I'm going to tell you the specific clothes I think that you might need. Okay, now, as a lady and you have cute tops, you know those cute tops that you can wear any jean with and look like, you know, a fly girl that you are. Yes, those are the type of tops that don't weigh too much that I think you should come with, you know. But all those clothes that you packed in your house that you've not worn for one year, you've not worn for five years, it's now you want to come to Canada to wear it. My brother, my sister, all things that passed away. Let everything become new. Because you've not worn them for that long. What makes you think you're going to come to Canada and start wearing them? Ask yourself that. She would not wear them, okay? I have a friend that each time she's traveling to Nigeria, she will pack the clothes that she packed. She kept, she'd been in Canada for six years. She will pack this, some of the clothes that she came here with that she have never worn to take back to Nigeria. She was like, she was, she was the one that told me, no, babe, don't even bother. Just come with some few cute tops. And that advice really worked because those cute little tops you can you will find jeans here from zara from different stores okay you find jeans there here but they don't really have some of those good tops there are tops so but like you know what i mean as a baby girl that you are so just come with you know your tops just leave all those wears another thing that you should also come with 
are your underwears. I say, lady, come with your bras, come with your pants and stuff like that because you would need them before you kind of figure out, oh, where to buy these things that the ones that work for you. Me, self, I've not even figured out where I'll buy the type of bras that I like and undies that I like, okay? There are a lot of stores. I'm not saying there are no stores, but it just offers you the time to, you know, have what you'll be wearing, right? Rotating until you find what the store that you can be getting some of those things with then now this is very important if you're coming during winter please get a winter jacket um winter boots i'm not quite sure because i don't think they sell the best winter boots in nigeria because you need the ones that have grip like that can grip if not you go they fall for floor for year people fall and just come stand up and move nobody will look because it's normal you if you take for this country you never fall i don't think me i've not fallen no me i've not fell Me, I never fall before. So, I don't know. People always say, oh, you must fall in Canada for you to know you've arrived. So, I don't know if winter boots is that, like, you need to really get it in Nigeria. I don't think they have the best. But if, if you need to, fine. But a jacket is a no-brainer. If you're coming during winter, get a jacket. Because as the time you are dropping from the, the, the plane, eh, the kind of cold that will hit you will reset your brain. You know the kind of cold that will catch you, you your brain will stop, you will shut down for, like, seconds. That's the kind of code I'm talking about. So, you need a winter jacket. For me, I came here during fall, okay? Baby girl came as a baby girl, you know? I was wearing this. I even put it down like a... a what's that now? A, oh, shit. Off shoulder, yeah. I even did the off shoulder because baby girl came during the good weather. So, if you're coming during the bad weather, you know yourself. Make sure you have your winter jacket all right so the next thing that you're going to have i already mentioned this somehow have some thick clothes like turtleneck clothes all those kind of clothes you think you will wear in canada not if you won't go either in your house you want to come and wear them in canada you've not want them there you can wear them okay you get what i mean so just give them out there is love in sharing you don't have to hold on to all those things and again for my ladies come with some thick leggings if you have okay the leggings i came here with the lesson the one that i wore from nigeria to this place i won that leggings there the, you know, the, 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 the tie don't watch her. Oh, Chichago. Because I love that leggings. Hey, I love them. Okay. I like, I've gotten leggings here. Some of them like good, but that one I came with remains my best because it's thick, but it's not like, oh, you know how you wear leggings thing with Pachikogi, but that one doesn't like tighten me. It doesn't grip me that way, but it still like does the work. Okay, so come with some leggings if you can find some. Okay, come with few nightwears, maybe one or two or three that you, you know, rotate for the first one week, two weeks, three weeks, or even one month before you can, you know, figure out where to get some of those things. Okay, come with your stockings. Okay, come with a head warmer if you have. See, these things you don't really have to. If you have them in Nigeria, just come with them. If you don't have, you can buy one or two. I came with a head warmer and that head warmer, I wear it to work all the time from nigeria i have not even bought a head warmer here and they're still serving me so if you have that one you can bring if you don't have you can buy just one this is i'm saying one one of them is fine you don't have to buy many of them because when you come here you will still have to like replace some of those things and then if you want to come with shoes i don't know i don't think you need it okay if you have some of these block heels that are cute that you can use to go for dinner hang out with friends yeah but if it's all this abola that we wear in nigeria my sister you might not really wear it here let me tell you the truth and when you come yourself your fashion change my, my fashion sense might even change you start wearing all these fancy boots so all those things now nah, don't pack them and come here because a one big wear you cannot wear it to anywhere you know so leave it, stash it out to people that wear them in Nigeria, okay? So then you have to, I already said, talked about cute top. If you have jeans, come with few jeans. Jeans occupy a lot of space. I'm not regretting. I came here with just one. I'm not even regretting it because I've been buying like the cutest jeans I've ever owned in my life here. Some people were even telling me in Nigeria, oh, better jeans are in Nigeria. But coming here, I'm seeing really nice jeans, okay? So it's optional. If you want to buy some jeans, if you have the ones that you think that are good, you can come with them, but just know that they wear a lot. So for me, I did not, I, I did not even come with any clothes. I came here, I'm a motobia here. Those the clothes I was wearing, and then few thick, thick um turtleneck, and then some of my cute tops. That was the only thing I came with, and just one bag handbag that i really like every other thing i gave them out okay and then if you have kids make sure to take kids uh, thick clothes as well all these things i'm mentioning if you have kids 
this all these items i've mentioned get one one or two two or three three as the case may be for your kids now let's head to the main part which is the cosmetic session i hope you guys have pen while you're writing down all these things i'm saying nobody nobody should message me you know you people do that a lot you now message me and say snap the list and send to me I will not thank it. Be writing. Let's be learning together. So now let's move to this cosmetic session, which is a very, very important session. I know most of my ladies are listening and waiting. Hey, my loves. So voice over Amara back again. All right. So head over to the next video that is after this one. Okay. So that we are going to be, you know, discussing everything, cosmetics, medication, food stuff, jewelry, you know, just all the final things that I, you must bring to this country see eh, by the time you're done watching this video eh, you know there's a difference between egbe na egbe. i'm waiting for you don't keep me waiting okay come over see you